Hello Taurus and welcome to your October 2021 video. Okay, so when we start this month, Mercury is already in retrograde. Miscommunication. Check your documentation before you sign anything, especially for you. You're going to need to read, reread, and reread before you sign anything because this Mercury retrograde is happening in your sixth house of work, health, and routine. Okay? So make sure you read anything if it has to do with work and you know anything changes that you want to make very important for you back up your information save everything you know whatever documents you need to save save it make sure you have backups of it emails read it reread it before sending especially if it's work related um travel plans they can also go you know it disarray during this time delays can happen technology difficulties so back up everything, especially that miscommunication on the work front. Remember that. Now, it can be frustrating, right? Now, don't put out your horns, Taurus. Don't go ramming into anything when you are feeling frustrated. Give yourself a break. Give yourself some time out. Remember, Mercury retrogrades about rest, rejuvenation, contemplation, reviewing, finding closure, all of those things. Now, the Mercury retrograde will be happening in your sixth house. This has to do with work. So you might be thinking about things when it comes to your work. If you had any ideas or projects or things that you wanted to do when it comes to your work before the 23rd of September, you can complete it because Mercury retrogrades are great for completion of tasks, right? Not starting anything new, but completing things. So if you start something new during a Mercury retrograde, it tends to not work out. So complete the things that you need to complete. Okay. Um, you'll be thinking a lot about work, strategizing about work, thinking and rethinking even past experiences about work. You might even notice that people from the past connect to you about work. So maybe if you're working somewhere or you had clients from somewhere, they connect to you now, but from the past, they now make that connection to you. That's excellent. Your health. You might be thinking about making changes to your health mentally, emotionally, and physically, how you eat, how much TV you're watching, you know, all those things that basically affect your routine because the routine affects how you work. So if you've been lazing around, watching television, sometimes just in a slump, yeah, you're going to be thinking about it and rethinking and what changes you can make to improve your work, health, and routine. Mars is in the house of work health and routine so mars is very motivated here throughout the month mars will be there wanting to push you towards working towards your goals your routine managing it your mental emotional and physical health it'll be great to move the body you could need to move you know get going you might find yourself sitting at the laptop and typing out a document and one thing someone's calling you and next thing you're out the door and you're doing something different and you communicate to that person it's action orientated when it comes to mars especially in the house of work health and routine and you'll be making those changes and you'll be inspired to make those changes to take care of your body on the sixth we have a new moon happening in this house of work health and routine and service to others that's also another thing about the sixth house how can we serve others how can we make things better for other people whether these people be customers clients people that we work with you want to move through things effectively efficiently right so that's the energy that you're basically bringing with this new moon is a new beginning when it comes to those aspects of your life on the eighth venus moves into the eighth house this is the house venus is about love passion the eighth house rules money so someone might invest in you um your partner could get uh, extra income this is about loans debts all of that energy but venus here is where you you receive something okay financially also venus in the eighth can make you feel a bit more intimate more vulnerable share yourself you know wanting to be more intimate with someone on an emotional mental physical level on the 18th mercury goes direct woohoo <laughs> we made it through this mercury retrograde okay now mercury goes direct on the 18th so things will start to ease off the miscommunication the technology difficulties your plans now can start moving along a bit with ease. Remember, we are on the pre-shadow period, okay, until 2nd of November. But as it moves along, things will get a lot better. On the 20th, we have a full moon happening in your 12th house. Full moon in the 12th. This is about rest, rejuvenation on that 20th, right? You're going to want to rest, rejuvenate, isolate, spend some time in nature, get into some spiritual aspects, meditation, all of that. The 12th house is about things we need to let go of. 
you've gone through so much for changes, Taurus. You've had Uranus in your sign, right? And it's been there for a while and it's continuing on and it's been changing you from the inside out and how you move and operate in this world. The 12th house wants you to release those things. Release issues of self-worth. Release issues that devalue you. Release people that devalue you. Make sure you have a good support system. You are releasing. Taurus, you are a valuable person. You're an inspiration. But it's so important for you to grow. And the way to grow is to have the right team, to have the right people cheering you on, inspiring you, offering you support, seeing the value in you. And you feeling that value within yourself. What you see within yourself is what you will see in your outer world. So use that full moon wisely to reiterate your sense of worth, your sense of value. Get into those spiritual practices. Use crystals. You can contact me for an astrology reading, a chakra dance, any of those things. Any of those things to basically inspire you. On the 24th, we have the sun now moving into the 7th house. And on the 30th, Mars is in the 7th house. So the seventh house, the sun illuminates partnerships, be it personal or professional. You become aware, opportunities come your way. You see things falling into place like this when it comes to relationships and partnerships. Mars also in the seventh house. Okay, so Mars in the seventh house <laughs> sometimes can create some conflict. Nothing you can handle. But it wants you to take action. Take action within your relationships. Take action when it comes to both personal and professional relationships. Set out the boundaries as well with that Mars energy. Make sure that you are giving and receiving it and it's in balance, right? That's the energy. Mars can also want to be physically intimate in the seventh house. So watch for that energy. The energy is very beautiful. Wishing you a lovely October. Do like and subscribe and comment down below about this video. And if you would like a reading, you can contact me via my website to support my channel. My PayPal is linked down below. Thank you.